Hey, good afternoon, guys. I'm Metaphysical Mike. Hope all of you are having a wonderful day. We're going to be talking about this solar eclipse energy in the new moon, how it's affecting thousands of people, if not millions, on the planet. Now, the solar eclipse happens on Thursday around 9.48 Eastern Time, and this solar eclipse moon brought a lot of changes to us, some chaotic changes. I think the biggest change we're noticing as a collective consciousness is we are really going in diving into our past. People from our childhood are coming back to us now. People that used to mess with us or certain things that bother from us are being, are being brought to the surface as if it's like a wave and it's coming to the shoreline and we're, we, we, don't, we, we wanna fight the wave. We're trying to say, no, I don't want this, but we, you can't stop a wave once it comes to shore. You know, you're only in a physical body. You can't stop a whole entire, a huge massive amount of water coming at you of a tsunami. You can't control it. And I think the thing is that we have to let go of control and realize that we are powerful, but we gotta just let go of things that are no longer serving us and things on our frequencies. And I think a lot of people right now are going through emotional haywire, I like to call it. Like you feel sometimes, you just, you, you know, you get angry, some things are setting off, you know, you're, there's some unresolved conflicts within ourself that we still don't like. And I think that's a big problem. It's so important though, that we really let go and we tune into ourself. And we're really not being in the ego. The ego is the false self. It's important though, because feminine energy is really taken over and that is affecting people, making people more emotional, people more prone to get in more fights, more violence in a way. Well, I'm not saying like big breakouts, but I'm saying people are more open. Their heart chakras are open, their throat chakra. You're having a much more easier time speaking your mind. You're tired of stuffing things inside of your soul. Now, on this on this new new on this new moon and, the, and this solar eclipse energy, I'm noticing that people are going to the past. People are fighting their path their past self versus the newer self. And that's because we're going into a newer paradigm where we're getting away, we're fading away from the carbon-based life forms as human beings into crystalline, into more of a, a heightened version, you know, the fifth dimension, you know, kind of like the connected to source, the universal consciousness. That's what we're all flipping to. So it's important for us to flip our script and stop focusing on the past. Whatever is in the past, let it go. There's nothing you can do. And if people are pushing your buttons, people are setting things off, you know, you're like, eh, let it go. It's not worth it. If somebody says something not nice to you, if somebody, one of your family members puts you down, is it really worth getting angry and your whole day ruined because of one person's comment? It's not right, but at the same time, you shouldn't fight them. Don't fight in order just to be right. If you, I love what Wayne, what Wayne Dyer used to say, God bless his soul, passed away in August 2015. Basically, don't choose. If you have a decision uh, between being right or kind, choose kindness. It's not worth being right. You're allowed to be wrong. You're making mistakes. You're making mistakes and you're allowed to be human. That's why you're here. You're here to learn many life lessons. But I hope you guys enjoyed this update with just a brief update. I wanted to show you, share my thoughts on the energy in this you know, ascension, what's been going on on the planet. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Namaste and thank you for tuning in. And you are a strong warrior of light. Peace.